Well, hello there, my little science savants. Ever wondered why your favorite fizzy drinks are, well, fizzy? It's all thanks to a little thing we call carbonation. Imagine you're shaking a soda bottle like a maraca, then pop. You've got a soda shower, right? But why? It's because of tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide gas itching to break free. But how did they get there in the first place? Let's take a microscopic journey into a soda bottle. Inside, carbon dioxide is playing hide-and-seek in the liquid. Remember the soda shower? That's our carbon dioxide friends getting a little too excited and making a break for it. So how does this carbonation caper happen? Soft drink companies use carbonation contraptions to invite carbon dioxide to the party. They put the liquid in a sealed container, add carbon dioxide under pressure, and voila! Fizzy bubbles! But why doesn't the carbon dioxide just leave the party early? It's all thanks to solubility, a fancy term for how well something dissolves. In this case, our carbon dioxide guests are quite comfortable in their liquid home. When you pour soda, the liquid meets the air and the carbon dioxide sees its chance to escape, forming those delightful bubbles. And why do they rise? Just like a helium balloon, they're lighter than the liquid and float to the top. Ever noticed how bubbles in soda are like snowflakes, each one unique? Some are big and rise quickly, while others are small and cling to the glass. It's all down to differences in liquid and gas properties. So why do we love these bubbly beverages? They tickle our tongues and add a dash of excitement to our drinks. Imagine a world without fizzy drinks. Pretty dull, right? So next time you're sipping on a soda, give a little nod to the chemistry that makes it all possible. Isn't science just the coolest?